In this video, I'll show you how to create a landing page using Wix platform. If this is your first time on the channel, you are welcome. I have another video on how to create a website. If you don't have Wix, I'll put the link in the description. Check that video out. It's going to help you a lot because I explain everything that you need to know about this platform. All right. So this is the landing page that we'll be creating today for Organifi Green Juice. Nice and simple. So I'll show you how to create this simple but powerful landing page. All right, let's get into the video click on get started sign up type in your email your email again create a password and resign your password now one advice i will give to you is that wix gonna use your email address as your subdomain please try and create a new gmail address with the niche that you are trying to get in if your niche is about affiliate marketing create an email address that has the keyword affiliate marketing or whatever niche you are trying to get into even though you're gonna promote your links on social media and stuff like that but it's gonna help with google ranking as well all right so with that out of the way let's get started all right so what kind of website do you want to create i want to create a landing page so i'll use other all right so click on other Alright, so right here, let Wix ADI create a website for you. Create your website with the editor. Yeah, this is what you have to use, okay? With this, you can customize, edit things your own way, alright? So let's click this. If you want to design a website, these templates are good. But if you want to design a landing page that is focus, no distraction, then I would advise you to use the blank page. So click on blank page. So we're going to edit this. This is if you want to create a website and you have all the design in mind. So I'm going to use this. Okay. So click on edit. This is good for landing page. All right. So even though this is a blank page, I'll put it in the canvas mode so that we're not going to have these things, these lines and all that and this page. So click on menu and pages, home, then settings, layout. You see how it says standard click on no header and footer then x out now it look super clean and beautiful so now i'll show you the product that we're gonna be promoting so right so i'm gonna just use this and i have the image download already into my bin all right so let me go back click on the plus sign then you click on header edit so to change the font you're gonna come down here i always advise you to use the Arial font okay it's that's professional and it's really good okay because uh, the image gonna come on this side okay so click on this i'm gonna use a uh, header four all right so what's the message for boosting immunity battling viruses and daily detoxing okay so that's the catchy phrase okay all right so edit test All right, so now I need the last test. So click on this. Now header six. Okay, so we'll move over here. So let's go back. So this is the test, okay? The whole thing will copy, but I'll just edit it. All right, then edit test. All right, so you go here. The reason why I'm doing this just to show you how this is to show you how to save time, okay? Then you X out. All right, now I need my image, so you click on this and you click on image. 
and click on image all right so it's loading an image all right and you're gonna click upload media okay I have a system already that's why you see it like this so I'll just click the image and click add to page all right so now we have to add a button so i like uh this green it suits the product here the color so you're gonna click on that now so then we're gonna click here to change the test okay so look, go back to the product page buy now okay it's highlighted already so you're gonna just type buy now so x out so click on it then you add your link all right the website link let's say you want to send them to this page and this is the page okay so you double click then you copy okay then you paste it in here then you click done all right that is if you are not collecting any emails and stuff like that but you want them to go straight to the product this is how you do it but the best way is to collect emails and i will show you how to do that okay so we're gonna hover over it click it then you just click delete okay now so let's say you have your opt-in page set up from aweber or get response so what you have to do is to embed your html code here okay so to do that you just click on this plus sign embed then you click on html sign okay this is what you want so just click it boom right here okay so we're gonna have to bring it down here this is what i want just to be in alignment because after i'm gonna put uh, another test here okay that will be the disclaimer okay so you click inside this and enter code so what you have to do you just have to go to eweber or get response or whoever you're dealing with then you're gonna copy the code and paste it in here all right so this is it and as you can see i have the color and that color is incongruent okay that's what you have to do so when people go to that page everything looks similar okay so now i need to work on the disclaimer go back to the plus sign click on test we're gonna click on this again click inside click on it edit test delete the test okay then you go back here so let's see what they got terms and condition privacy policy and health disclaimer okay that's what we have to type okay you're gonna highlight this just that okay and you click on this link then you click on web address go back here right click copy link address go back paste it yeah so always let it open in the new window okay then click done all right so now what we need to work on is the background they have three types of colors okay they have the main one is white the upper one is uh, gray kind of 
and this is dark somehow blue all right so let me see what we can do Alright, so to change the background color of this, you click on it, color, this one, yeah. So you're not trying to get like a perfect picture kind of thing, it's just that you're trying to look similar, okay? We can change this one too, to let it look like this, okay? We don't want the test on it, so I'm gonna just delete the test. But before that, let me just try and move these things up. All right, so I let the banner move past the disclaimer. Okay, then I will bring it down. That's the best way to do it. Okay. I'm gonna change the color, so I'm gonna just click on it, change background strip color. Then let's see. Okay, so. We're gonna use Colorzilla, Color Picker, and pick it. It's saving the clipboard, but I'll just check it out. So that's the number. Okay, I don't wanna grab a copy. I don't wanna grab the hash sign. Drop it here. Okay, then add. Don't copy with the hash sign because with Wix they just want the number, okay? So if not, you're gonna struggle like I did. Alright, so when you go back, you see the color look the same, but the test should be white. So we go back to the and edit test color and we'll give it white. Then click on this click on this and boom all right so if you want you can change the color before you do that alright so let's preview so you click on preview and this is how the end product gonna look like nice and beautiful eh? let's go back to the editor so when everything is done and set what you're gonna do you're gonna click on publish so congratulations your site is published you're gonna click on this view site alright so this is it and this is what you have to promote this is the end of the tutorial thanks for your time please like comment and subscribe 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 until next time take care bye bye